Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about getting your best gray hair for the year 2020. Now I know that there's a lot of sayings for the year 2020, like perfect vision, which I totally love, or all about focus. And that's what it, it's really all about, ladies. It's all about having a clear vision of what you really want with your hair in 2020. And I'm gonna give you my tips on how to get your best gray hair for this coming year. So ladies, you know what time it is. It's time to get this beauty started. Okay, is this not exciting? You're on the cusp of maybe just thinking about going gray or maybe you're in a couple months with the gray roots or you've had your hairstylist help you kind of transition a little bit with some highlights, low lights, or you're just going cold turkey like I did. Now, don't forget to subscribe to this video, give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out each week. So ladies, don't be afraid. That's all I have to say. I'm going to give you my tips. I've been through it four years now, October, 2019. It was my four year anniversary of having gray hair. And listen, I have never looked back. I did question myself when I was going through it. Like, are you crazy? What's wrong with you? But I, I just feel that it is a transformation. You have to start. This is my first very big tip. You have to start with changing your mindset. Okay. So we're all programmed to think that gray is old, gray is you know, dull, lifeless, whatever you want to blanket the whole gray hair with, let's step outside of that box, rewrite your rules, rewrite your own rules, your own beauty rules, because that's what we're doing. And if you need help, I did write a book called Beauty Reinvented, because I reinvented my beauty through gray hair and through my attitude, and it was unapologetic, it was bold, it was fierce, and guess what? It didn't matter what the beauty world said to me. It didn't matter what strangers said to me. It didn't matter what the fashion industry said to me. I did it because I wanted to do it. I stepped into my power and you can do the same. So the book's out there for you. It's on Amazon. You can do Kindle, you can do paperback and it's a short read. It's fierce. It's all about, you can do it. You gotta just get that attitude in check. So. Start with a great attitude for 2020. I'm gonna do this. My hair is going to look beautiful. And guess what, ladies? If you don't like it, just dye it. There is no rules. You don't have to say, I'm going gray and now I don't like it or it doesn't look the way I thought it would and I'm stuck with it. Absolutely not. You have choices. But it first starts with that mindset. And I, I really want you to empower yourself and feel great. And in one part of, in one chapter of my book, I was really struggling and I share with you what I did. I was really struggling when I'd wake up in the morning and I was like, whoa, I was like so much white is staring back at me. Like, who is this? What's happening? And how do I fix, <laughs> fix this? And I would start writing post-its on the mirror and I would do it on the, on the door before I left. And it was positive things to keep my mind in check. If your mind's not in check, ladies, you are not going to have an easy transition to gray. Just gonna let you know that, I'm gonna say it again. If you don't get your mind in check and say, I'm going to be beautiful, I'm going to love this process, I'm gonna learn so much about myself because ladies, you're going to be uncomfortable. Everyone wants to avoid being uncomfortable in life and I understand that, but guess what? There is beauty in being uncomfortable. There is beauty in feeling like, oh my gosh, it, is this really what's happening? Like you, you dig deep down inside to keep showing up in the world with gray roots, with two inches of gray, six inches of gray, black and white hair like I had. Ladies, you can do it. So let's move on to our second tip. My second tip is about cutting your hair. Don't be afraid to cut it, it grows back. Now I had long, beautiful, you know, black hair with the gray stripe and I loved it and it was layered and I knew how to blow it out and I just, and I just loved it. I put in a ponytail, but I knew my hair was never going to match. It was never going, it would take forever. And I was like, you know what, I'm done with it. So I cut it off into a chic bob and I, I have never looked back. I've had this bob for four years. It's gone shorter, it's gone longer and I, I love it. And it's easy and it's, it's maintenance free for the most part, you know, I don't have to really do too much to it. So I really do love the bob. I think that it's a great thing to do when you're transitioning. There's a new year coming up. You wanna have your best hair, cut off all the dead 
dead ends, ladies. Start fresh. Get a really chic cut. Look on Pinterest. Figure out your face shape and or what celebrities you really admire and, and you are similar to with, with structure and bone structure and pick out really a great vision board of your hair that you would want and bring it to your stylist. That is a, the, such a great uh, confidence booster and it, and it really just gives you more life when you get that great cut, you get a really beautiful precision. I'm not saying you have to go short. I'm not saying you have to go pixie. I'm just saying do something different. Embrace this new look, this new you for 2020. All right, so now my third tip is find products that work for you. You have to find your own hair care products that work for you. Now I've shared multiple, multiple different brands on my channel about different hair conditioners and heat protectants and all kinds of different stuff that I use. And it might work for you if you have similar hair type to me, but it might not if you have very thin hair or you need extra volume, things like that. But you have to experiment with products that are for gray hair, for hydration, and some of the products that I have mentioned will work for you. I've, I've heard a lot of great feedback from my Better Not Younger products, from Kirastas, from Fido. I really have like an arsenal of products depending on what's going on with my hair and depending on what season. So you have to, for instance, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'm always trying different products to really hydrate my hair. And so I went to Ulta recently and they had um, the, the, one of the sales guys had gray hair and he said, he was an older gentleman. He said, oh, this Coraline is the best. We can't keep it in stock. It's this white shampoo, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'm going to try a new shampoo. It's going to be great. It's formulated for my hair. And I used it and it I hate how my hair feels. It's so dry, it's so dried out. And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I spent this on it and I, you know, was really thinking it was going to be a really great product to introduce into my collection and it wasn't and that's okay. You know, okay, it didn't work for me. It works for a lot of other people. That's fine. Let me move on. There's two products that I really do love that I've been using recently is the Jumpstart Quick Dry Blow Dry Serum from Dry Bar. You know I'm there like every week getting my hair blown out. This is for a protected up to 450 degrees. Very, very important for gray hair to protect your hair from heat, whether it's blow drying. I would suggest not using a lot of heat tools like curling irons and flat irons like you used to when you had darker hair or dyed hair because your hair is definitely different and it will definitely take on more of a yellow tinge and it's just not it's not a healthy thing to do for gray hair um i also like this sparkling soda to shine mist from dry bar i like the travel sizes because i'm always spraying it on before i go on um, air on hsn or i just like that i like to give the silver an extra boost so this is a product that's really worked for me that i like but i would only know this because i i test it out and i try it and i say okay i love it it's lightweight it doesn't weigh down my hair that is my biggest tip to really find products that work for you and stick with them. You know, once you really figure out what works for you, stick with them and really enjoy moisturizing, brightening and loving your silver hair. And my last tip for you ladies to get your best gray, silver, white hair for 2020 is to commit to it. So that is a hard thing to do. I know when you're seeing the demarcation line, and listen, I love that demarcation line because you know what it means? It means that you are in it to win it. You are rocking it. You are, you know, there's a lot of things, ladies, too. If you go back to my videos that you can do from a hat to cover it up to different hairstyles to a bandana, listen, I give you all the tools. I'm just saying you have to commit to this whole gray hair journey for yourself. Love it. Don't look back. I know it's easier said than done, but listen, I walked the walk. I, I did it. I have pictures on Instagram that show you the beautiful black hair with all the white coming through. Literally, I was black and white. And I remember being in New York at my 40th birthday and being like, I cannot believe I'm doing this. Like, I can't believe I'm taking pictures in Central Park with my husband and look at my hair. Like, that's all I could see was like this, all this gray coming out and then the black and it just looked, you know, I, I, I say it, you know, I said it in the Pantene commercial that I did. And I really, I love that they took this clip from what I said. It was, and it's really how I felt. It was like the old, me was just kind of fading away and I had the new me coming up and it was just so powerful for me and I really dug deep into that. So when I looked in, this, in the mirror and I looked at those pictures, I said to myself, 
I'm transforming. I am becoming the woman I want to be, I'm not hiding anymore. I don't need to cover up. And that's just how I processed it in my own head. So I hope that 2020 brings you lots of beautiful, sparkly silver, whites, and gray hair. And ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.